100 people are out of their homes tonight after part of an apartment building came crashing down in Logan. Right now, investigators are trying to figure out what went wrong. Eyewitness News reporter Kerry Corrado is at the scene tonight. Kerry? Yuki, good evening. These residents have been through a lot. About 100 people are displaced, and many of them are seeking shelter tonight. Now, investigators, they are trying to figure out what caused part of this building to collapse that left behind this hole on the seventh floor. Ring doorbell camera capturing the moment dust filled the air as bricks from an apartment building crumbled to the ground on Lindley Avenue in Philadelphia's Logan section around 9 a.m. Neighbors opened their doors and saw this. Oh my God! Chopper 3 showed part of the seventh floor missing. No one was hit by the falling debris, but residents were told to evacuate. Cops told me I couldn't walk past the tape because the building collapsed. And I couldn't go inside, and I could go in and only grab a few things. I couldn't get my TV, no nothing. Uh, residents were encouraged and assisted in retrieving essential items, medication, pets, uh, essentially an overnight bag so that they can stay somewhere else. The Red Cross and the Office of Emergency Management opened a temporary reception center for residents at the Holy Trinity Bethlehem Presbyterian Church and gave them food. They were then escorted by police and SEPTA buses to Samuel Fells High School for shelter. A trailer filled with cots and other items were brought in. We partner with, uh, with OEM and with the Salvation Army and others to uh, make sure that everyone's needs are taken care of. We provide them with comfort kits and personal hygiene items that they might need. As investigators try to figure out what happened, the Red Cross says they will be here for residents until they are no longer needed. We're all in this together, just trying to make it sure everyone stays um, happy and healthy and safe. So back out here live, you can see the pile of bricks that remain here. Residents will not be able to go back into the building until an engineer deems it safe, and no word on when that will be. Kerry Corrado, CBS3 Eyewitness News.